Aloha, welcome to Dreamweaver. Today we're going to learn how to set up your new site. The first thing I want to go is go to my file menu and under the sites, I'm going to click on it and it says new site. So we're going to click on this. As you notice, you see that the wizard has popped up to set up our website. We're just going to follow the direction. So it says, what would you like to name our site? So for the record, I'm just going to call it test. So type in test. If you have a web address right here, type in your web address. So test.com. And I'm going to click next. Okay, next it says, do I want to use any kind of server technology right now? Most people are not going to use this, and I'm not. So we're going to click no. But um, click next, then we move on. It says, how do you want to save your files or work with them? I want to just leave it the way it is to the default. I want to leave my files on top of my computer so I, it's easy for us to preview and test our site as we build it before uploading to the server. So we'll click next and we'll save it to the default in the websites and say next. Next is asks us what we want to do. Go to FTP. Type in our information. You should have got this from your webmaster or your hosting service. So type in ftptest.com. You can ignore the folders that I want to put it to unless there's a specific directory you want your website to go in. But if not, it should just be left empty. Your login, whatever your login is. So I'll put test with the password. And you always want to test your connection. Obviously, in this case, you see it testing. It's not going to go do anything because this is just a test. If you put in the correct password and settings, you should get a successful connection window and you can continue. So I'm going to cancel this. Okay, next, we're going to go to next and move on. And it asks us, do we want to check in or check out? In this case, I'm going to click no. But if you're working in a group where multiple people have access to the site and make changes to it, you want to click the yes. But in my case, it's just myself and I'm going to be working on the site alone. So we'll click next. And here is a summary of the site and all the settings. If everything looks good, we click done. And if you look in our files menu, we see test site has been created. The local files, which are created on our computer, which is right here. There's nothing on there yet. So we can continue now to build our site. Okay, that's it. Easy, simple. Thanks for listening. Aloha.